So you might be asking if a MacBook can actually handle AI and machine learning. Well, the short answer is yes, but there's a lot more to it than just running Python on notebooks. But here's the thing, it's not just about the hardware, it's about how you set up and how you use it. So in this video, I will show you what a MacBook can actually handle, where it struggles and how you can get the most out of it. I have spent hours digging through spec sheet for AI laptop and I still had no clue what I actually needed. Then I noticed a pattern. Beginners keep falling into the same three mistakes and avoiding them changes everything. It turns out it's not about the latest GPU or the prices laptop. It's simpler than that and way more effective. After reviewing dozens of laptops for AI ML projects, the same problem kept popping up for the beginners. I even see it in the comment section every week. Students asking for laptop advice only to repeat the same mistakes. Alright, let's talk about the story everyone repeats when it comes to doing AI on a MacBook. Because the story goes like this, MacBooks are for writers, designers, video editors and coders but not for machine learning, not for deep learning and definitely not for training big models. The logic is simple, MacBooks don't have Nvidia GPUs, so no CUDA cores, no massive VRAM. They've got slim, fan cool chassis that overheat if you push them too hard. And honestly, there's a truth in that old reputation. If your picture of AI and machine learning is spinning up a massive transformer models locally and hammering it for hours, a MacBook looks like the wrong tool. Machine learning isn't just about brute forcing massive models locally. Most of us spend time of iteration testing small models, in inference, debugging data pipelines. And this is where MacBooks actually start to fit. With PyTorch MPS backend or TensorFlow Metal, you can run smaller models natively on Apple Silicon. Latency is low, the machine stays quiet and you get a smooth workflow. That's why you are seeing more developers, even hardcore machine learning people, quietly put down their gaming laptop and switch. So why are developers actually switching? You are writing pre-processing code, prototyping with a small transformer, testing inference on a classification task. That's not GPU intensive. It's about iteration, speed, portability and staying in the flow. And the MacBook, they kill it there. Plus, Apple's M3 and M4 chip comes with neural engine. Accelerators that handle certain machine learning workloads like image recognition or language tasks faster than you'd expect. I've seen developers build quick test classification prototype on a MacBook. And honestly, I've expected those machines to choke, but they didn't. They handled inference smoothly. And whenever scale was needed, the training was just offloaded to Colab or AWS. If you want to train a billion parameter transformer or fine tune a large diffusion model locally, forget it. VRAM is not there, you are using the system RAM to run these models. But a smart workflow solves that. You prototype locally and push heavy training jobs to the cloud. Yes, Apple's M series chip will look cool, but in our world where every penny counts, they can still feel out of reach. Even the more affordable Windows model with Intel's Ultra or AMD's Ryzen AI chip chips tend to bump up the price into a territory that's hard to swallow on a student budget. What often gives better price to performance ratio? A mid-range Windows laptop with a dedicated NVIDIA GPU like an RTX 2050 or 3050. For around 50 to 60,000, you can grab a machine that lets you train and find doing small to medium models locally. Now, whether you are on a tight budget with a GPU laptop or you are decided to go with the MacBook, the key is how you actually work. So run TensorFlow Metal or PyTorch MPS. They are optimized for Apple Silicon. I student I know ran stable diffusion on a M2 MacBook Air. Was it lightning fast? No, but it was quick enough to test ideas for a paper. In some cases, I've seen developers fine tune a small LLM on a MacBook. Sure, a gaming laptop trains faster, but the fans are loud and it's heavy to carry around. On a MacBook, they could run inference, iterate comfortably and offload the heavy training to the cloud. That's when it become clear. The real winner isn't the teraflops of speed, it's workflow, comfort and efficiency. So MacBooks aren't built to replace gaming laptops for their raw GPU training. But for learning, prototyping and coding on the go, they can actually be a smarter choice. By the way, I've linked the best laptops that I would recommend to a beginner in AI ML down below in the description box. These laptops have great price to performance ratio and also are portable for students. If this video helped you, drop a like, subscribe and comment down below which setup are you using right now. Till then, stay awesome and I will see you in the next one.